No, Declan, no, okay? There's only one center of the universe. It's London, my hometown, my city. You do not need to leave. Ever. Yeah. Do not leave. You just need to go to Stanford Bridge. That would be good. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Yahoo Footballing Weekly with me, Yahoo columnist Neil Humphreys. And me, Yahoo editor John Kyung. <clears throat> Sorry. We're back. We're back. We're back. English Premier League oh. is back. Have you missed it? Have you missed it? Have uh, you missed it? Not really. The World Cup was good. The World Cup was good. After a while, it's like, oh, everybody's in World Cup mode yeah. and then like, forgot all about EPL. No, it's that. Oh no, it's still got half a, half a season more to go. Yeah. yeah. I was initially quite skeptical, but it turned out that they peaked for the World Cup, <laughs> the footballers. So the trick is now, do they maintain that oh, level of momentum? That's a big, big question. When they come back. All right, so let's get straight into it. We'll start right at the top. Can leaders, Arsenal, fend off their challenges and remain top for the rest of the season? So the context is Gabriel Jesus, which has been a revelation for the team. Mm quite a catalyst for their great uh, half season. He's now injured and he's injured for about three months. That's a big, big Huge. blow. Big, yeah. big blow, especially considering that the closest challenges is the limitless, the, the guy, the, the team with the limina, limitless resources, yeah. Manchester City. I mean, Jesus had stopped scoring a bit, but his link-up play yeah. was superb. And, and you know, he always line. goes, the defence, he just runs yeah, yeah. towards the defence. The, the defence reacts there'll be opportunities for other other players to mm. respond, you see. So he was an integral part, despite his lack of goals recently. Yeah. And now you take this away, while well, Mikel Arteta has to think of a lot of ways to compensate for yeah. that. I've got a stat for you Arsenal supporters to get very excited, right? 13 of the last 18 teams who were top on Christmas Day uh -huh. ended up being Premier League champions. Ooh. So two thirds became two -thirds. Premier League champions. However... The drawback is, you're still Arsenal. <laughs> and Arsenal don't do this. I've got another stat for you, Arsenal fans, that you'll like even more. I did. I couldn't believe this, Hank Kong. On the last four occasions that Arsenal have been top uh -huh. on Christmas Day, which was 2007, 2002, 1989 and 1986, they won the title on none of them. Oh. None at all. Because that's what Arsenal do. Oh my God, Arsenal. You got this from a Spurs fan too, didn't you? Yeah, okay. I did. My daughter, my newfound daughter. No, no, no. I, I did my research and it's true. But this is the thing. I got a feeling it's going to happen again because, well, two reasons. Manchester City, obviously, who we'll get to, they just don't have the squad depth. You know, yeah. it, it's it's a it's a echoes of Leicester City. I know I've said that before. Terrific first 11. Um, Arteta's doing a magnificent job, as you mentioned. But you look at their bench, they just don't have the depth that other teams yeah, have. This is a cha title challenge coming too early for them. I mm. think I think maybe if they develop a bit more, it's a very good start. I don't, I'm not saying it's, it's no good. Mm. It's a very good uh, season so far from Arsenal. Yeah. But it might be a bit too much to, for them to stretch it all the way to May. And perhaps... And then that's fine anyway. You, you you the next season you reinforce and then you can have another go at it. And then you 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 could have a Champions League to offer for players to come. Yeah. That, that's good. That's good. But now now I think it's a very testing time for them. I think mm. it will be a very testing time for them. Yeah. Uh, the good thing is the 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 holiday season schedules is a bit light on them. Yep. They only have one major game against Newcastle. Uh, West Ham. They play oh, West Ham. Okay, <laughs> West Ham, fine. Since when does a London derby not count? Since so it's fine. No, Arsenal. it doesn't count. It doesn't count. That's the truth. It doesn't count. <laughs> okay, but 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 good luck to them. I think, uh, I think as a neutral fan, neutral Arsenal fan, mm. I hope that, I hope they'll do well because that means um, Manchester United, Manchester City wouldn't win. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The secret to Arsenal's success will be they need to have an identity crisis, right? Because in the first half of the season, they've been very Arsenal. <laughs> In the second half of the season, they cannot, cannot be, be very Arsenal. Arsenal. Nope. You could be Manchester City, you could be even Chelsea as it was before. Be Liverpool. Be, be Liverpool. Liverpool, grind it out, you know, persevere. <laughs> Just don't be Arsenal. <laughs> and Arsenal might win the title. Let us know what you think yep. at Yahoo Southeast Asia at YouTube, Yahoo SG, Yahoo underscore NY on Twitter, and Yahoo SEA on TikTok. All right. All right. Moving on, which team heading back into the EPL season will be most affected by their World Cup exertions. Wow. Yeah, really, I've got a few, actually. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's quite a few on hand, but I think I think the most, the, the team which will be most affected, I think, is 
Tottenham Hotspur. I agree. Same team I've got. Yep. Because firstly, their two most important players, Harry Kane and Song Heung Min, they were captains of their t- national teams hmm. at the World Cup. And Song Heung Min, you can see, you saw him. He was like in you know, an emotional wreck hmm. throughout the tournament. Even when they won, they managed to qualify yeah. for last 16. He was in tears, and when they lost uh, in the last 16, he was in tears as well. How is he gonna recover properly? And and I know he's a very hard running, mm. full of running at his best. So I don't know how he's gonna recover. Harry Kane, all we all know, he missed that crucial penalty for England against France in the quarterfinals. Is he gonna be recovered sufficiently mentally strong enough to recover quickly? to help Spurs in their uh, Champions League push? Uh, it's, it's a big question. And I don't think either player really excelled at the World no. Cup. I mean, Sun no. Ming was clearly not fully fit. No. Harry Kane does tend to fluctuate at international tournaments anyway. I thought he got better as mm. the tournament went on. Didn't have a great tournament. Played a lot of minutes. Here's the thing, right? I had a look online. Of all of the EPL clubs... It's Tottenham who have got the second most number of players who played in terms of minutes at the World Cup. Manchester City is first, right? So Tottenham has players, 11 players at the World Cup, 3,690 minutes between them. But the key is this, they had two in the final, Mel Romero and Romero and Luis. They mm. had one in the semis, uh, Perisic. Mm. Of course, there was Kane and Dyer. But eleven players, and they all got a lot of minutes yeah. as well. I mean, you look at Richarlison, uh, Holberg, Ben Davis, oh, right, uh, right, Hung right. So Ming. So eleven players, and you add to that the way Conte plays. Oh yeah, that's what relentless I drilling, training hard, ninety minutes. They're going to be dead. They're going to be vomiting like it's a teenager's party. <laughs> back back right? to dry when they are training. Oh, on my our word. Pre-season. It's going to be like a university hall party, right? They're going to be throwing up in every corner of oh, the training ground. That'll, that'll be quite, quite a show. But uh, yeah, so I agree with you. I think Tottenham... But the number one side was Manchester City. They had 16 players wow. at the World Cup, right? 4,625 minutes. But five players from England Walker, Stones Foden, Grealish and Phillips Whoa, wow. but they've got three from Portugal one from Netherlands one from Spain and got Alvarez from Argentina yeah so they've got a lot of players 16 players but again squad depth I yep. think they're fine I, I think, think they're fine I think they're squad depth because he's back <laughs> Haaland oh, my boy yeah. he's <laughs> back it is all about Haaland it's not I, can't, I kind of miss him I miss him yeah. I miss him I miss him like I don't know George Michael misses Andrew Ridgely from Wham right okay. I, I miss him I miss him because it, it, he was just such a character yeah. you know he was such a character the first half did of the season did you see that he did like a short great for, for Manchester City that he was like so bored at home don't, yeah. know, don't, don't know what to do because all the all his teammates are playing at the, yeah. the World Cup it's like oh, I'm bored I'm yeah. bored I can't wait for it's it great. it's hilarious go and search for it it's fun this is not really about the return of the EPL at all it's about the return of Haaland <laughs> I'm only interested in the return of Haaland I wonder how uh, good is he going to be right? but it's like getting a, a, yeah. a new signing again yeah. right a Salah's in a similar situation yeah. but well, no, Haaland was but fresh Haaland is younger Hungry. He's not played any tournament football at all. Yep. It's like a new signing for Manchester City. Ooh, so, be scary, the depressing part for me as a neutral, of all of the teams, elite teams in the best position, I think Newcastle. Yeah. I had a look at their numbers, right? They're second bottom in the league table of who played the fewest minutes at the World Cup. Yep. They've only got five players of whom... Kieran Trippier played 205 minutes. Callum Wilson played 47. Nick Pope didn't play at all. One Brazilian, a Swiss player, and that's it. So they've got a good squad, a fit squad, rested squad. They were flying. Their form going into the table, I think that the joint best form, they'd won the last six games or or 16 points from the last six games. Great form, fully fit squad, third in the table. Newcastle could fly. Yeah, they could. They could even, if, if let's say Manchester City suffer a bit of wobble, mm. Arsenal suffer a bit of wobble, they'll be in the title race straight away. Absolutely. So, hopefully, okay, let, the, let those three f- fight it out for the title. Yeah. Hopefully. For me, I mean, obviously, I'm a bit parochial. Liverpool is my team, so I have to look look out for them. Mm. Um, they they are facing, they, they are challenged against for Spurs and Manchester United for the fourth place. And I think... We might. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm biased, obviously. But no, not on this podcast. <laughs> no, you're completely but, objective. But I think um, uh, Liverpool didn't have that many players going deep into 
the 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 World Cup. I think only got Konate in the final. Mm. Um, the rest, I think, the the next one is Henderson and mm. Henderson, who is in the England squad. But they've had the almost rest, a week off already, yeah, right? So they they already joined up with them playing in uh, training in Dubai already. So I think Manchester United they do have Varane and Martinez yes. who are who are, <coughs> who are who are in the final, and so you know there might be. And Varane went off, didn't he? Yeah, very got cramps yeah, and stuff yeah. and stuff. So he's exhausted. So he's exhausted. So, I mean, if you if you if you're from a neutral point of view, if you are think those three vying for the fourth spot, Liverpool might have a chance, even though they had a pretty substandard uh, first first half of the season. You and that they usually have a good second half of the season. So hopefully, so that they, they are likely to make a run for it. Yeah. yeah. And I know you're very, very worried and apprehensive about West Ham United. Oh, yes. But do not worry. Declan will, Rice has had plenty of time to recover. He's OK. And they're yeah. all motivated by their legend, of course. Scaloni. Scaloni. Yeah. So West Ham now has a World Cup winner oh. and a World Cup quarter finalist in Declan Rice. So West Ham will be fine. This yeah. is when... It, they're, they're all lulling you into a false sense of security, <laughs> right? This is, the, this is the title charge now. Oh, yeah, they're, they're coming up. They're coming. Don't forget Brighton with uh, McAllister. What a player. What a, <laughs> what player, a player at that World Cup. Absolutely yeah, fantastic. He'll, he'll be gone by January. I tell you <laughs> so with Declan Rice <laughs> I'm going to get to that later yeah. um, alright so let us know what you think I personally believe Newcastle will come out of the blocks flying yep. I think Tottenham's going to struggle uh, Manchester City uh, Arsenal will do what Arsenal always do <laughs> sorry Eric Ong who's one of our regular oh, listeners poor. but uh, let us know what you think underneath who's going to fly who's going to sink usual place let us know your comments right let's wrap it up Wrap it up with something fun. It's the festive season. What is your festive wish list? What are you looking forward to? What is your New Year's resolution for the Premier League? I just, I just hope I don't get like jaded after so much football mm. for the past month. Mm. I mean, I'm, I'm already like you know trying to recover from all the lack of sleep and uh, and now it's another from from the next week onwards. Uh, for two weeks, uh, they'll be gonna like have matches ev- almost every day. And like AFF uh, as well, right? You talking AFF about AFF as well? And now I, I just hope I just don't get like zombified and jaded after all this this thing, and you no, know, it can carry on for the for the next six months of Champions League, F- FA Cup, and EPL action. Is, it, is this the point where we're supposed to feel sorry for you? Yes, is please feel sorry okay. for me. <laughs> I would like to launch the charity appeal, the yeah. Cheer Hunky on charity appeal for the next four weeks. He's being paid to watch lots of football. Then that'll be good. Oh, just so so. Just, just give me beer yeah. and, and so and if you'd like to send little... donations to the Yahoo office he's yes, not yes. doing very well at all you know I'm going uh, to get a bloody violin out for you in a minute <laughs> nobody cares they're listening to this when they're going to work or on the MRT they're yes, like yes, yes. he's got to be paid to listen to so much football oh. nobody cares <laughs> nobody cares but I've got a much more serious Go much ahead. more serious wish list Go ahead. I hope Declan Rice is as bad at geography as I think he is because I want him to believe that the whole world is London. There is nowhere else in the world. There's, he's, heard, he's heard rumours that there's something called Manchester and Liverpool and Madrid and Barcelona. No, Declan, no. Okay, there's only one centre of the universe. It's London, my hometown, my city. You do not need to leave Ever. Yeah. Do not leave you just need to go to Stamford Bridge. That would be good. No, no, no. Don't listen to him. Don't bring West London into it. You want East London miserable, grey, wet yeah. weather, pine mash, jelly deals. Yeah, yeah. That's what you want. Jelly deals. Yeah. I've heard about this Madrid paella and the Barcelona weather. Forget it. You want cold and miserable East London for the rest of prawn your life. Prawn sandwiches, jelly eels, prawn sandwiches, jelly eels. Yeah, no, no competition. No competition. Jelly no eels. more talk about Liverpool, Manchester and the rest. Declan, my friend, festive season, oh, wish list, man. stay at West Ham. Not going to happen though, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's, 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 gone. he's gone. He's gone. At the end of the season, <laughs> he is gone. gone. All right, what is your wish list? Your wish list? What us. do you want from the rest of the EPL season? Let us know. Send all your comments to Yahoo Southeast Asia on YouTube, Yahoo SG, Yahoo underscore MY on Twitter, and Yahoo SEA on TikTok. That's right. That's right. Do feel sorry for him. He's got to watch a lot of football send me, send me in the beer. next send couple beer, of weeks. Please. All right, send him your donations, please. <laughs> and in the meantime, enjoy your holidays, whatever it is you're doing yep. with friends and family. Have a wonderful Have time. A wonderful time. And we'll see you back in the new year. See you, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Go Declan Rice. <laughs>